What is up, Bruins fans? Today I'm going to bring you a clip from episode 360 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast, where host Sam Smith, Mark Allred, and Dom Tiano discuss the recent signings of Alec Regula and Michael Callahan. As uh, they brought back Alec Regula on a one-year, two-way deal, league minimum. Same with Michael Callahan. Um, Regula's back for another year. What are our thoughts? I, I like, like it. it. Yeah. Um, I think he's going to be a, a, a bigger addition to the Providence Bruins back end. Um, uh, he was injured a lot last year. Um, well, towards the end of the year. Um, led the league in, in plus minus. Uh, I think he's going to have a bigger role. And uh, he's the type of player that I could see accepting that role and being a better player. So um, I like that they're keeping him in the pipeline to keep working, keep evaluating. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the signing at all. It doesn't affect the Jeremy Swayman uh, deal. People look at the 775 and um, automatically think that that's what he's going to get. And it's going to ruin plans for signing Jeremy. No, it's not. That's not how it works. Um, so no need to worry about that. Again, there's no set, you know, list of when things need to be done. It's, there's, a, you know, things need to be done when we want them to be done as fans. But when you, when you talk about the business and so on, there's, there's a, there's a pecking order. Um, and you know, you needed to get some of these guys signed. Um, and you know, because like Dom says, the, the blue line's thin, and without Regula, it's, it's going to even be more thinner. So, um, oh, he's I like it. He's their most experienced defenseman, or is it Ian Mitchell now? Uh, it probably would be Ian Mitchell and and uh, Regula, and then like Callahan. Oh no, there's Billy Sweezy too. Short, yeah, sweet Sweezy. Jordan new. Osterley. Osterley. And he's new too. Yeah. Yeah. Osterley has the most NHL experience on that Providence defensive part. Yeah, over 300 games. Yeah, that's so if he's, he's in. He's the most expen- experienced. That's if he's in Providence. He could knock Waterspoon down as, as the seventh D. I don't yep. see that, though, but we'll see. I don't see it either, but that's why we have to, we have training camp, Sam. If Yeah, I mean, if he, I was going to say, if he has a phenomenal training camp and a great preseason, possibly. Yeah, you got you got to leave the option open. I think they are. That's why it's a two way deal. See, so they can, if he's good, bring him up. Yeah. So, um, so they bring back Alec Regula, and they also bring back Michael Callahan. Same contract for him. It's a one year, two way deal at league minimum. Another year, of Michael Callahan. What are our thoughts on that? Well, not- go ahead, Dom. I think how old is he now? Do you guys know off the top of your head? Uh, 20, he's got to be twenty six. Yeah, so next year he's going to be a group six unrestricted free agent, and I think he's going to realize that his path to in Boston is blocked. No, like Callahan, there is there is no path 20. for him. Sorry, Callahan's twenty. Callahan's twenty. No, he's, he's not twenty. According to the Providence Bruins website, he was date of birth April 14th, 2004. Really? I thought he was a little bit older. Yeah, I thought he but, went through four years of college. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Let me see. Oh, no, the Providence Bruins website's wrong. The Bru- Boston Bruins website says he was born on September 23rd, 1999. So he's 24. That's more like it. Okay. okay. All right. So Providence. So it's not a group six, that. but um, I don't know. I I think he realizes there is no path for him to Boston. Uh, that he's completely blocked out now, and you know, does he have a shot at the NHL? Maybe with a team like I don't know Utah or Chicago or or something. Um, that he's going to seek it at the first opportunity. Um, but there's no path for him to Boston. Yeah. I, I thought Cali had a good year last year, probably his best year pro, to be honest with you. Um, uh, so hopefully, you know, he can come in and be a, another good soldier for another year and then possibly seek uh, opportunities elsewhere. 
uh, whether it be in the NHL or overseas in Europe. Um, there seems to be a lot of the path lately for a lot of players like him. Um, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, he's a local kid and, you know, stick around here for another year or so, um, you know, and see if there's an opportunity. And if not, there's, you know, he's just going to have to move on and find another place to play. Like, much like Kyle Kaiser did, we just, we've I found out last last night that uh, he signed with the uh, the Chinese team in the KHL. So uh, the Kunlun Red Star. Yeah. So, Good for so, him. Yeah. There, yeah. There's there's a guy who, you know, three relatively close in succession concussions. Um, pretty much ruined a, a career. Yeah. yeah so and I, I like, I like the idea that Kyle goes over there. Um, what I'm not totally sure if he's going to be a legitimate starter, but if he is, what an opportunity for him to get back on the horse, get constant regular time, earn some tax free money. You know, that's always good. And then, you know, who knows? somebody in North America might come calling again if he's interested to come back. But he's still young enough to to possibly make a return over here. And I, I, I wish him nothing but the best of luck. I got to be honest, he was one of the nicest people I've ever interviewed mm-hmm. in my life. You know? And I got to say that he did it without being mad about certain situations about getting passed over by other players and so on in the depth chart and going down to the uh, ECHL in Maine and so on. He was very positive about every experience he had with the Boston Bruins organization, whether I saw it or not, but you know, he was very professional. So I, you know, I, I appreciated that about him and I, and hopefully him and his family uh, have the best of luck moving forward. Absolutely. So it does say it's a one year, one way deal. So it looks like he'll be uh, he'll be in the uh, at least with the team, whether the starter or the backup out out in China. So hopefully he does well out there. Like what you saw? Be sure to come back next week for episode 361 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast for real Sam Smith, Mark Allred, and Dom Tiano discuss the latest on Bruins goaltender Jerry Swift. See you then.